in this video we are going to create this real estate flyer design using photoshop hi welcome this is design Relation. if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos for us to get started let's open our photoshop here is my photoshop click on new file and go to your settings for these settings rename your project let's call this project flyer design then the width we will be using for this design is 736 the height is the same thing 736 then under measurement we are going to be using pixels under resolution change the resolution to 300 then go down and click on create and you should have this at default for my own photoshop i set it in a way that i will have this guide if you want to set know how to set your guide this is what you will do go to view so at first let me clear this guide out go to view then go to guides and go to new guide layout when you click on that you will see a dialog box like this under here this is the setting you will follow for this we are going to change the the number of columns let's make it for the um, columns let's make it one column then we go to margin then we have margin then for this margin let's change it to 50 like this then for the left margin we'll, the same thing 50 for the bottom margin the same 50 for the right margin 50 then we have this and click on ok so we have something like this so this guide will guide our design so at first let's prepare our background go to your layer panel unlock this background layer by click on, clicking on this then go to the downside add a new layer go down here go to um, adjustment layer add solid color for this color we'll be using this color we'll be using this color and click on ok if you are following up you use the same color and click on ok now delete the down layer by selecting it and hit delete on your keyboard now go to file and place embedded we want to bring in our our house image this is the house image we'll be using the link to download this will be in the description of this video so place this here and click on ok to confirm the placement now go to your shape tool select the rectangle tool and draw it over at the bottom change the color to white double click inside here to change the color to white so we have this so let's place our element perfectly so let's take it up and we have this okay so if you are a newbie you um, go with the guide but i don't like designing with guide because i know where my design should follow so i'm going to turn off this guide now so that it doesn't disturb me because i'm not good with using this guide i show you how to do that so that you don't mess up okay so we have our image like this the next thing we want to add is to bring in these three go to file go to place embedded so we are going to bring in these three okay hold alternate on your keyboard while you click and drag to reduce to scale down the size of this tree so i'm going to place it here click ok then go to your layer panel if you can see you will see that this tree is on top of this feed and we don't want that so click the um, tree click and drag it under the house image so we have the tree under the feed ctrl j on your keyboard to duplicate it take it over to this other side ctrl t to show out the transformation tool and scale it down so we have this the next thing we want to do is to bring in the ladies image but before that let's do something again to our background to do that select this shape hold ctrl j on your keyboard to duplicate it shift it up go to your layer panel click and drag bring it below the other layer the initial layer take it up then for this we are going to use our brush tool go to your tools bar select your brush tool go up here 
for this we'll be picking go to general brush and pick the soft round brush turn the opacity to around 80 then go down here and add a clipping mask to this go to your color make sure the color is black now paint at the down side of this so we want to remove this side follow what i'm doing on the screen now we have this so the next thing we want to do now is to turn down the opacity of this turn it down to this to around 16 and you should have something like this so what we are going to do now is to group all these layers and name it our background ctrl g let's name it background Go to file, go to place embedded to bring in the portrait image that we'll be using in this video. This is the image. We have something like this. Now go to file, go to place embedded, bring in these three images. Scale it down, take it to this point, rotate it just like this, and place it here. Now select the image, go to Peter, add block, add Gaussian block. For this block, we'll be taking it down to around 7.0. Click OK when you are done. Duplicate it by holding Ctrl J on your keyboard. <coughs> take it to this other side, Ctrl T. Right click on it and select flip horizontal so we have this place it on this other side and we have something like this select the two layer take it down to our background group so we have this go to shape pick the rectangle shape draw it over like this then go to your properties panel use the curve point let's add a curve point to this so that the edges will be curved just as seen take it to this upside Double click inside this to change the color. For this, let's pick white. Seems our image is big, so we scale it down a little. So for this shape, Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate it. Double click inside it to change the color. For this, let's pick any green color on our design. Then Ctrl T on your keyboard, alternate, click and drag to scale the entire side. So we have this. Now this will house our logo, then go to file, go to place embedded to bring in this logo. This is the logo we'll be using. Scale it down like this, place it over to this place. You can see it's under the image, then go to your layer, click and drag it above the um, shape layer. You can scale it down a little. So we have this, that will be our logo. So let's group the related layers double click and name this logo it is important you group your layers so that you can easily remember it after if you are going back to this design you can easily remember where each of your layers are okay now go to toolbar pick your text tool click and write for this we'll be writing need Place it over to your left hand side, scale it up just like this. Let's um, change the font. So for this, we'll be using extra bold so that it will be much bolder. Go to file, go to place embedded and bring in this image. You can scale it down if you want. Take it over to the text. Confirm the placement. Now go to your layer panel, right click on the image we just placed and click on create clipping mark so that it clips inside the, we use it to color the text. So we have this. Now what we have to do is to go to text, click for this, we'll be writing cool and we have this text. Place it under it. For this, we'll do the same thing by going to place place embedded and bring it this shape scale it down use it to color the text 
so from this idea you can do this in you can create this type of design in your next project so you can initiate this type of coloring in your next project so we have this so let's cut, duplicate this shape bring it down for this we'll write this text we'll do the same thing for this time around we are just going to duplicate the initial one that we have right click and create clipping marks we use it to color our text so we have something like this now we can group all the layers by selecting all of them ctrl g and let's call this text layer and we have our text layer like this the next thing we have to do go to text pick your text to for this we'll be writing the name of this estate which is this ctrl t to bring out the transformation to scale it down take it over to this point and leave it just like that then let's go down and walk add other details go to your toolbar pick the rectangle to draw it over at this point like this go to your layer panel double click on it to add a gradient overlay click on the gradient overlay and we are going to use this color follow up the setting for this color we'll pick any color from here a darker green then for this other side pick any color again a darker green then for the middle color click um and we have this now go pick your text to click and write your text for this text let's call this this will serve as the price of this take it over to the shape scale it down let's zoom this out so we see what we are doing and change the color to white duplicate it double click on it to change the text content for this this will be full price scale it down go to your character panel change the font for this we'll be using a thinner font the font i'm using is poppins the link will be in the description of this video you can download it and use it duplicate this take it to the other side for this this will be half price and we are done with that the next thing is to add the contact information but before that let's group these related layers like i always say group this let's call this uh, price at the end of this video i'm going to show you why uh why you have to group your layers and we have this if you haven't subscribed to this video to the channel subscribe and like this video pick your text to click and write for this we'll be writing for more info scale it down and take it to the bottom side duplicate this take it to the other side this is going to be the contact let's zoom it out so that you can see what you are doing click and duplicate double click on it to add the cont the phone number so i'm just going to add any phone number here like this and push it down for this let's scale up the size of the contact to create a variation between this text double click to create a good color variation between this for this let's give this color then for the down text let's give it another color can just pick colors from your design so we want to make it to align to this other text so that is what we are going to do select the layer click and drag 
and we have this. Now select them and group, call this contact. Pick your shape to let's draw it under here to create a kind of balance between this design. Let's give this color. And we have this. So guys, this is how you create this kind of design using Photoshop. It's as simple as this. So let me give you reasons why I group my layers. So the reason why you have to group your layers like this is so that if you are coming back to this design in the next three months or two months to re-edit it for another client, you'll be able to remember where your designs, where your layers are. So let's, this is the contact. So if I turn this off, you can see it controls the contra contact group. Then if I turn the price off, you can see it controls the price. If I turn off this other one, it controls the bigger text there. So when you're done like this, you go to file and go to save a copy to save your design as JPEG or PNG and share it to your clients. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.